Abortion happens when an unborn baby's life ends. About 200 million women get pregnant every year. During the same time 44 million abortions are carried out around the world. Fortunately, the abortion rate has gone down because more and more people, especially in developing countries, are receiving a better sexual education. Better family planning also leads to fewer abortions. Abortions have been performed for thousands of years. The ancient Romans and Greeks were not very concerned about the lives of unborn babies. In the Old Testament women had to pay a fine if they had a miscarriage. Abortion laws have changed in most of the Western world throughout the past centuries. Abortion is an issue that has been discussed for ages. Doctors, theologists, philosophers and politicians disagree on two issues. Should a mother be allowed to have an abortion and should an unborn child be protected? In the course of the 20th century two groups evolved. Those who are in favor of allowing abortion are called the pro-choice movement. Those who are against it the pro-life movement. Abortion and Religion The Roman Catholic Church holds the strictest position on abortion. It is against ending an unborn child's life in every case. It claims that human life must be respected from the second it starts. Islam considers abortion as wrong but still lets women carry it out for medical reasons. Buddhists think that life should not be destroyed and reject abortion. However, modern Buddhism is divided on the issue. Types of Abortion Spontaneous abortions happen naturally. Doctors call them miscarriages. They occur for many reasons, for example, because of a disease that a pregnant woman might get or a horrible event that occurred to her. In an induced abortion the fetus is taken out of a mother's body on purpose. Arguments against abortion Human embryos should have the same rights as normal people. Killing unborn life is murder, a child is a gift of God. Abortion disrespects human life. Women who undergo an abortion may have serious psychological problems later on in life. Arguments in favor of abortion Abortion should be allowed if a woman's life is in danger. Some say that abortion should be allowed if a child is expected to have a mental deficiency or is going to be mentally ill. Many doctors and psychologists think that abortion should be allowed if a woman has been raped. Everyone should have control over their own body. Some young mothers live in poverty and are too young to cope with a child. 